Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we're gonna finally learn about tags. Tags are really helpful while managing collisions and while we wanna get an information about game objects. So let's get started. So first of all let me uh, tell you what are tags. Tags are kind of a kind of keyword that is attached to a game object so that we can recognize them. As an example, suppose you were uh, you were creating a game where you need a lot of balls so you generate a lot of balls and you tag them as balls so whenever you're gonna get access to all the balls in the scene you just find the game objects which has a tag a ball attached to them another example is suppose uh, you were firing bullets from your gun and all the bullets have been attached a tag called bullets so later on when you wanna find all the bullets in the scene, all the bullets in the game, you just find the objects which has a tag attached to bullet. So all the objects which has a tag bullet, those are bullets. So this is how tags help us to really manage and search for things. So let's take a look at practical example to understand this thing more clearly. So I'm gonna create 3D object quad, okay? So we're gonna use this quad as our game object and we're gonna add a tag to this so that we can recognize them. So in order to add a tag, just select the game object. Now from the inspector, as you can see, uh, beside tag, we have untagged. So you just click on that, and from here, we have some default tags which are provided by Unity, but we're gonna add a new tag, so we're gonna click on this add tag button. And now as you can see, we have an empty list of tags. Here we can add our own tags. So in order to do that, just click on this plus button here and now we can add our own tags. So you can add whatever tag you want. I'm gonna add suppose quad and then press enter. Now the tag has not been added to the object. The tag has only been created. So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the quad and from untagged you just gonna select the tag quad. Now as you can see whenever you select the quad as you can see the tag is quad. Now let me create another object another 3D object quad and I'm gonna place it here and I can now tag it as quad from this by the same process. So by this way I can tag all my objects which are which are quad by this quad tag. So how it will help me is that whenever I want to find all the quads in my scene, I just I can just search for all the game objects which has a tag quad attached to them, and by that I can find all the game objects. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, the script and see how it can be done. So first of all, I'm gonna check if the game object with which this script is attached has a tag quad or not. If it has a tag quad uh, if it has a tag quad then I will print that it is a quad and if it's uh, if it has if it doesn't have any such tag then I won't print anything okay so in the start function I will check if this dot game object so that means the game object with which this script is attached so if I attach this test.cs script to something, then it will check if this means the game object with which this script is attached. Okay, so this dot game object dot tags. So this is how we check the tags equals, and within quotes we have to write the exact keyword that we have given the tag to. So I have given the tag quad in small. So quad. So if the if the tag quad is attached to this game object, then I will. I will simply debug dot log. Uh, it's a quad, okay? Okay. So now let me just go ahead and let me just delete this second quad, or maybe just disable it from here, and select the first quad. And now I have written the code in the test script. So let me drag this test script onto this quad. Now the test script is attached to the quad. So now this game object means this quad game object with which this test script is attached. So now if I run the game, uh, 
obviously it takes some time for the first time when I run it. As you can see in the console it prints that it's a quad since this script is attached to this quad and this tag quad is attached to this game object. Okay, so since we are checking if the tag quad is attached to it and since it is attached that is why it is printing it's a quad. Okay, so now if I select it and just change the quad to something else suppose I change the quad to player and now if I run this now if I run this as you can see now it doesn't print anything if I open the console now it doesn't print anything since the tag quad isn't attached to this okay so this is the importance of quad we can search for anything or any keyword or we can check for anything is quad we will learn many 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 use cases in the upcoming videos I just wanted to teach you guys this quad because it's gonna be very very helpful in the upcoming videos so I hope you guys are enjoy I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something so thank you very very much for watching this video for more helpful tutorials just check out the link in the description below and thanks a lot for watching have a great day